Oh, hey, babe, what's up? Can you change the locks again? Um, yeah, hold on one second. Front door unlocked. There you go. Front door open. Just making a video about this new IQ Panel 4. You want to come check it out? No. Well, do you guys want to come check it out? No. Introducing the all new IQ Panel 4. Four. This new panel from Qualsys brings you everything you love about the IQ Panel 2 Plus with some huge updates to the panel's hardware. Everything is faster, sleeker, louder, and more powerful than ever before. You still have all of these incredible features such as Bluetooth touchless disarm, dual SRF that supports both power G sensors and legacy sensors of varying frequencies, Z-Wave Plus for smart home integration and automation, seamless integration with the Alarm.com platform that allows you to answer your Alarm.com doorbell, stream your Alarm.com cameras, and even enable two-way audio right from the panel. And you still get the elegant, responsive, and configurable user interface from the IQ Panel 2 Plus. Everything's the same here, so you're not going to have to learn a completely new system. So if that's the case, why is it worth the upgrade from the IQ Panel 2 Plus to the IQ Panel 4? That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Before we get started, here is a quick disclaimer. I'm recording this video at the end of September in 2021. The IQ Panel 4 was just released only a couple of weeks ago. We just got it in our warehouse days ago. I expect to see a lot of updates and a lot of changes coming to the IQ Panel 4 software. So that said, if I were to record this video at the end of September of 2022, for instance, we'd have a lot of different features to talk about, a lot of different software and firmware updates, but I'd be willing to bet the conclusion is going to be the same, whether you're watching this video in September of 2021 or any time in the future, the IQ Panel 4 is worth the update. Now, let's get into the nuts and bolts. What is different about the IQ Panel 4? Well, there are four main things to talk about here. First is the hardware, and this is the biggest update to this new panel. The second update we have to talk about is the installation process. The third big update is the end panel camera. And fourth, we have all new speakers on the IQ Panel 4. First, we are going to jump right into this video by talking about the hardware. And for that, I'm going to hand it off to Tyler over at Nelly Security. All right, I'm back here at the office here at Nelly Security. Let's take a quick look at the back of this panel. If you're familiar with the IQ Panel 2 Plus, this is gonna look a little familiar to you. We have our main board here and we have our daughter cards. Now the main difference here is the IQ Panel 2 Plus was a four core processor uh, system on a chip. This is an eight core processor system on a module. So it has gotten a huge upgrade in terms of the hardware that we're looking at here. Uh, now we do still have these daughter cards we have our Power G daughter card here, and we have our legacy daughter card. This particular model is the 319.5 megahertz. So whichever uh, module you pick is going to depend on what system you're taking over. These are the only two daughter cards that we have on this model. Uh, the Z-Wave, which in the past was a daughter card, has now been integrated directly into the board here. It's a more powerful Z-Wave. Uh, with longer range. Uh, in fact, everything in here has longer range. The Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, the uh, Power G, everything is a lot more powerful now that it's powered by this eight core processor. And that really is gonna be the major difference here with the IQ Panel 4. At first, it might not look like there is a whole lot of updates here. You know, the feature set, uh, the software, everything pretty much looks the same, but this really is huge. Uh, I think a lot bigger than it looks on the surface. The IQ panel now has room to grow. The IQ panel 2 plus that we know today with all of its many features really didn't start out that way. It grew into this panel through a series of software updates and firmware updates. And now the IQ panel 2 plus has pretty much grown as much as it can with the limited hardware that it has. 
So by moving over to the IQ Panel 4, this is going to present a ton of opportunity for growth and development for many years to come. So that's the hardware in the IQ Panel 4, but let's go ahead and talk about some of these other improvements that Qualsys made to the IQ Panel 4. First, let's talk about installation. If you've ever tried to install the IQ Panel 2 Plus, you know that it could be kind of a pain. Now, sure, once it's installed, it's very solid, very secure, but it wasn't the easiest alarm panel to install. And in fact, this is one of the biggest complaints that alarm dealers have about the IQ Panel 2 Plus. Don't worry, you guys, Qualsys listened, and the IQ Panel 4 features a brand new smart mount system. Check this out, you guys ready for this? You just put it in those hooks. Panel tampered and push it into place. And that's it. It really is that simple. Now there are a couple of different installation options for the IQ Panel 4. They have an all new table mount. They have a subwoofer table mount. So whether you are installing it on a wall or on a table, every option is compatible with this smart mount system making installation a breeze. You'll also notice that there are no external antennas to mess with here. All of the antennas get better range than the IQ Panel 2 Plus, and they are all internal. So you don't have to mess with stringing antennas through your mount or through the wall or anything like that. Everything has been streamlined and is super easy to just throw up on any wall or table. This is gonna save you a lot of time and hassle. Another update here, which I'm super excited about, is this in-panel camera. The IQ Panel 2 Plus had a five megapixel in-panel camera, which was great. It took pictures. It took videos, it was great with uh, detecting motion. The camera here in the IQ Panel 4 can do all of that, but even better. First, it is now an eight megapixel 4K camera. You're going to have higher resolution photos, you're going to have higher resolution videos, more accurate motion detection. Everything is just going to look better. On top of that, the camera's field of view is much wider than it was on the IQ Panel 2, you're going to be able to capture more area in your shots. And another cool feature about the IQ Panel 4 camera compared to the 2 Plus is the fact that it's now adjustable. You can move the panel's camera up and down to get the ideal viewing angle. The functionality of the camera is exactly like the camera from the 2 Plus. That means you can request a peek in image anytime you want. Uh, the panel can take pictures anytime somebody disarms the alarm or messes with the settings, and you can record video anytime the alarm is activated. But as of now, that's all you can do with it. But I don't think Qualsys would put this much effort into upgrading their camera if they didn't have more plans for it. Now, this is all speculation, but I do expect to see more features come out soon concerning this in-panel camera and what we can do with it. Last but not least, let's talk about the speakers in this camera. In the IQ Panel 2 Plus, we had two very small speakers. They were one watt speakers, and I mean, they worked well, they did the job, but wait till you see the speakers here on the IQ Panel 4. Here we have four four watt speakers across the bottom of the panel, and the sound quality is amazing. So amazing, in fact, that the IQ Panel 4 actually does not have a siren built in. These four speakers at the bottom are loud enough to act as the siren. Another cool feature with these speakers, uh, since the Android operating system has been updated with the IQ Panel 4, we can now stream audio from our phones just like a regular Bluetooth speaker. So let's check this out. Let's turn this up. The IQ Panel 4 speakers are amazing. Now, I know what we're all thinking, what does the siren sound like? Let's find out. I should probably go warn my wife first. Fair warning, I'm about to set off the alarm. All right, here we go, you guys ready? System Select design. arm system type. Arm stay. Here it comes. I don't like that. Okay. System is now disarmed. Whew. No siren. That came straight from these four speakers. Ouch. 
and we should have a video of that. Let's go check it out. Ignore my messy living room. I have two toddlers. And that, my friends, is the IQ Panel 4. I'm so excited to see what kind of updates Qualsys is going to bring to this panel through simple over-the-air cloud updates. Again, this is all done automatically from the panel. You don't have to make any kind of service calls. And if for some reason it doesn't happen automatically, from your office, from your home, you can just log into your dealer portal and activate the cloud software update from there. A lot of cool things are coming with the Qolsys IQ panels, and I definitely think it's going to be worth the upgrade simply for the potential that the IQ Panel 4 has with that eight core system on a module processor. Your clients are gonna be set up for the next several years of alarm technology innovation. So what are your thoughts on the IQ Panel 4? Let us know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you're thinking. I'd love to hear any questions that you have about this system. Thank you guys for watching this video. If it helped you out, if you learned a thing or two, please be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you are a security alarm dealer or looking to get into the business, click the link down in the description below to learn more about Nelly's security and our dealer program. We have a lot of cool incentives for security dealers and we are always looking for more ways to help you move your business forward. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. and they have a tiny garage where they hold their... Hi. I need water. Okay. I'm recording, so yeah. At first glance, it might seem like there's a little bit of disparity here. Hey Google, define disparity. Yes, I am.